Celebrity gardeners have backed a campaign to halt the sale of garden organic or right and organic gardens in right. The future for businesses that lease land at the 22-acre site has been uncertain since uh, last year. The charity are considering offers to sell the gardens for development because they say visitor numbers have fallen and it's no longer economical to run. Alan Gear, MBE, is the co-founder and former chief executive of Right and Gardens and he explained to us what his current concern concerns are well obviously i'm extremely worried that the gardens may disappear under concrete and go be sold for building um they're dearly loved by many many people uh, jackie and, I, and myself included and we very much hope that a solution can be found that keeps the gardens open i'm really delighted that bob flad you and the other celebrity gardeners have come out in support of Wrighton. it doesn't surprise me there is a great deal of love for the gardens out there and uh, all power to them and i hope that they will um, along with all the other thousands of people who have signed petitions to keep the gardens open will pause and make the management and trustees think again well, as Alan mentioned, one of those high-profile gardeners to recently back the campaign is Bob Flowerdew, author of over 30 books, has spent the last 25 years on Radio 4's Gardener's Question Time and is no stranger, of course, either to the gardens at Wrighton. Bob, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So why are you backing this campaign? Well, any business should never contract because it's the way out. They're selling up the land in order to lease it back. and That, I think, is a short-term plan. I think it would be far better if it had to be uh, sold in some way. Well, why not actually do a deal with someone and build the houses themselves and rent them out? And then they could be ecological green houses rather than, you know, or- ordinary rabbit hutches that probably will go up. And then it could also become a demonstration of the various sorts of ecologically green houses by getting different manufacturers to help put up different ones so they could show them off. It's already an exhibition site. So I think it should become rather like the Centre for Alternative Technology at McCunslet, uh, expanding uh, from being garden organic to living organic. But the, surely that idea would still see the gardens go under concrete in well, one no, way or another. Well, no, because uh, there's, there's, it's a 23-acre site, and so there's a very large area of it which could be developed. Uh, and it could be developed, as I say, with greener houses, each with their own little organic garden, and still maintain the main site itself, uh, the car parking, the exhibition areas, the, most of the, gar- the actual gardens. Would there be a market for that? Well, I'd be willing to rent one straight away because I'd love to be very near to Wright and I, could, I, I think it's an excellent place and I love, I'd love to come and visit it. And there's certainly, if there's a market for selling houses, there's almost certainly a market for renting houses. Um, how concerned are you um, that the site could end up concreted? I think that, uh, unfortunately, I believe the management and the trustees are doing what, to their minds, is the right thing, which is raising money to pay bills. But I think that it's a short-term thing, and I think it will end up in a few years' time. Although they plan to lease back the offices and the demonstration area, I think that the, the price will be put up. It will be too much. Uh, it will then be forced to leave and go to an office block somewhere, and they will be concreted over as well. And you've uh, you've just sort of recently backed the campaign. Mm. What has impressed you about the campaign, or, or really motivated you to do that? I mean, the sheer number of people who have contacted me about it. It's uh, <laughs> there's an awful lot of the members feel this is not the right way to go, and indeed, it's selling the crown jewels. Um, how how was it that that Wright and Organic Gardens ended up being at Wrighton? Because they were at a, they were at a site elsewhere in the country before, weren't That's they? That's right. Uh, when I joined years ago, uh, Lawrence and Cherry Hills had a, a demonstration garden down at Bocking. And it was felt that, uh, that's in Essex, and it was felt it was a bit out of the way compared to the vast number of members, and that Coventry would be so well-placed, central to the country, with good connection. Um, uh, um, so it came there. So it came there. But what happened to the site at Bocking? Oh, that was sold. For housing? Well, it was a house. So uh, it, it, was a, it was Lawrence's own um, home. Right, OK. So there is sort of a precedent there for their being, you know, part of the history, being sold and well, development. Well, yes, they, and... they sold to buy somewhere else as opposed to selling it up to pay the bills, which is <laughs> a different thing entirely. So what happens next as far as you're concerned with this campaign, Bob? Well, I'm 
sitting here wondering myself. I fear that the trustees and the management, I'm sure there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing wicked. They're just taking what they see as the sensible choice. But I don't think they're looking at other options, like the one I've suggested. I'm not particularly attached to that. I just think that it's crazy to sell sell off the majority of it all for ordinary building. If nothing else, it should at least be sold for nice houses, well, nice and green, well-insulated, proper ones. Um, and will you be in attendance at this AGM, which is taking place? I certainly intend to be. Um, make, myself, make myself awkward, as they say. <laughs> OK. Um, Bob, thank you very much for your time this morning. Much appreciated. It's Good a to pleasure. Talk thank to you. you so yeah, much for you look helping after yourself. Point. Yeah, you look after yourself. Bob Flowdy there, um, who is now backing this campaign um, to try to save Wrighton Organic Gardens with his particular plan. Now, we have approached the current owners of Garden Organic organic um, and we've posed so that you know the following questions to them where are you at with the tender process how many tenders have you received is it possible to see a copy of the agenda for the agm will members of right and organic be invited to speak or at the uh, hdra uh, members be invited to speak at the meeting um we have yet to receive a reply from them as i understand it have we had an acknowledgement of our no acknowledgement even that we've been in contact with them okay well there's the AGM taking place in May, so, you know, maybe at some point between now and then somebody would like to come on the radio and have a chat to us. That would be great. The invitation is open to you. <laughs>